I mean, I've not seen this ever before. For more than 15 um, years, Dr. Jason Persoff has been chasing storms in Colorado and across the Midwest. And had gone from nothing to showing a debris ball on radar, indicating a very violent tornado moving through that area. From historic tornadoes to tennis ball-sized hail, Persoff has seen just about everything. Joplin was truly the defining moment of my career. It was May 11, 2011. Persoff was in Joplin, Missouri where the seventh most deadly tornado in U.S. history tore through the region. I ran into a police officer who told me one of the two hospitals in Joplin had been destroyed by the tornado. As a hospitalist, Persol volunteered 16 hours of his own time at the one remaining hospital. It was there he began to realize there are holes in disaster response. Dedicated my life at that moment to try and improve disasters um, and how we respond to them. He brought the lessons he learned that night back to Colorado. Right now, a lot of my work uh, focuses on improving emergency preparedness, um, mostly in hospitalized environments. We are learning how to turn a hotel into a hospital um, in two to four weeks. While working to improve disaster response, Persoff continues his passion of storm chasing, often with friends. Now, one of the things that they're very firm about is that Colorado is not worth chasing, which is a complete and fabricated lie. Um, Colorado is a phenomenal place to chase. It's just very challenging because you, it, does, it does not obey the rules. That means Persoff chases begin the day before to stay ahead of the storms. Because we have to, like, when, when we're wrapping up a chase day, we actually have to do some forecasting for the next day because the ideal situation is we're actually in position um, when we wake up in the morning. It's getting into position the night yeah, before that allows Persoff to be so successful and snap photos that have landed him in museums. Take this Campo tornado, for example. There were wildflowers to the west with the sunset off to the west and just this amazing, like, textbook tornado. It, it, one of the best of my life. His favorite photo came from a non-tornadic thunderstorm on the plains. This is one of my favorite storm photos. There was absolutely no tornado with that, but man... That thing was spinning like a top.